Good morning, it's Anna. If you're new here, my channel is Vintage Jewelry Galore, and I show and sell jewelry here on this channel. Today I'm doing a pre-recorded sales video that is of gemstone beads um, for stringing. They already have the holes in them. And also I have four lots that I put together, one of stone and sterling and some designer names, rhinestones, some vintage. I'll show the gemstone beads first. So I normally I'm on live one to two times a day, a week, not a day, <laughs> a week with a live sale. I'm not going to have a live sale this week because I'm in the process of packing and moving. So this is going to be the first um, pre-recorded sales video. I'm going to put another one out or two on Friday, probably just one uh, pre-recorded as well. And I'll be back on live uh, sometime next week. Um, we're moving Saturday. All right, so I'm going to start off with the gemstones. Like I said, if you if you see, well, I don't know if I said it, but I will now. If you see anything you want from the video that you'd like to purchase, please email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. And I will put the email down in my description section as well. All right, let me get started with the gemstones. I'm going to start with citrine. Okay, um, I think there are 19 of these little beautiful faceted beads. It's 19 of them. I actually counted them when there's a smaller amount like that I can. These are $10 if anybody would like them. So you're getting 19 beautiful citrine beads for, uh, like I said, they already have the holes drilled in them. Oops, let me put those away. I'm going to put them away as I'm going. I'm not going to keep starting and stopping. It's really early here. Well, it's almost 7 a.m. now. I got up early to prepare. Here we have 14. Um, those ones were kind of bicone shaped. These ones are round. These are 10 as well. There are 14 of these around uh, beautiful citrine beads. They're 10 bucks. I'm going to do it by stone. I have a few citrine here. I have lighter citrine, too. I'll show those in a minute. All right, these ones are, we have 34, slightly darker than the ones I just showed. These ones are $20. They're round, though, like the ones I just showed, actually. And like I said, there are 34 of these. These are 20. They're beautiful. I will get that. Okay, so 34. Uh, the larger rounds for 20. So you'd call these... Like the $10 bags, the ones are bicone, and then there's round, a uh, bicone around. These are round, uh, 34 rounds for 20. I'll get that in a minute. I won't leave it there. This is, a, there are a hundred of these. Oh, I wanted to do the price in order. It's going to be kind of out because the next one's less. These ones are 30. There's over a hundred. I didn't count. Okay. Let me... Oh my God, let me put them in this black thing. Let me pick them up. Don't want to lose any. There's over a hundred. Like I said, did not count them. Ran out of time. <laughs> let me put them all in there though. These are a nice uh, yellow, a lighter yellow of citrine bead. These ones are 30. They are rounded. They're faceted, like rounded ones over on 100. Like I said, 30 bucks for those. I'm not going to put them away right now. I'll put them with the bag. The rest I'll show in my hand. These ones here, smooth, smooth, small citrine. It's 95 here. For some reason, I counted them. <laughs> These ones, but not the others. The other ones have more, definitely, than one I just showed. But these ones, um, there are 95 of these, and they're faceted and beautiful, kind of like the bicone-shaped round ones. These are 20. They're smaller than the other ones, and there's less, 20 bucks for those. The lighter ones, number 95, there are 95 of them to identify them. That's how you identify, please, is try to give the numbers or the price and number. All right, that's it for that. I have Labradorite beads. These are beautiful. Um, I didn't count them. I'm, I do sell them for 20. These are rounded, a couple of them. These are really beautiful, 20 bucks. Let me show you. There's more. Let me pick them up. There's a couple that are oddly shaped and not quite round. Like, I mean, they're, there's different shapes, actually. There's the round balls. Let me show you. There's a variety. And you have the slithers like that one there. 
larger round balls. Here's a slither, but these are beautiful. 20 bucks. I don't know how many are there. Didn't really, didn't count them. Um, at least 50. There's more than that, though. Put these ones away. I get too much. I don't put anything away. Hey, please bear with me. I am moving. It's It's been crazy. <sighs> I can't get any. Okay. These are crystal. These are crystal clear quartz beads. 20 bucks for these. They have, all of them have holes. I don't have to keep saying that. But they're pretty. Look, they're crystal. I don't know how many are there. Approximately at least 50. I didn't count them. But these are the crystal, um, the clear quartz $20 for those. I believe these, uh, look at Labradorite bead. Let me put it away. Um, the next ones I'm going to show, I should have put these all in bigger bags. I don't know why I use it small. I, these are either Iolite. Okay, there's a lot of these or some, or Amethyst. Not really quite sure. I, they're stone. They are all squared. As you can see, and they obviously also have the drills in. There are a lot of these. Like, I'm going to show you how many are in the bag. See what they look like. They're pretty. They're like little rectangles. Okay, I will pick up the couple that are wandering. But anyway, so there's a lot of these. Look. Iolite or, or amethyst. I, I'm really sorry that I don't know which one, but they're definitely stone. Let me show you them close up again so you can get the view. An eye on the color. There's a lot of these. These are 40. Um, there's a couple hundred here. Well, at least a, um, maybe, I don't know, approximately 200. They're in a bigger bag, but look, there's a lot there. And, and they're nice. I, I'm not really sure what the stone is. Either amethyst or iolite. I, I don't know. I don't really know what iolite is, okay? <laughs> but when I was trying to look them up, um, they're, they're purplish. Could very well be amethyst. They do test up in that range, but so does the other one. Okay, these are rounded the same. Um, these are purple as well. These are stone. I think they look bluish kind of. There are a lot of them. These ones are um, 30. There's not as many as there, but they are rounded and bluish. Let me show them again. Let's see if I can't show the color. Are they made? see look they're stone amethyst or an eyeliner or something okay 30 bucks there's a decent amount it, probably at least a hundred there's more of the other ones these ones are square like rectangles and these ones are rounded smooth okay i have smoky quartz i do know what these are there are a lot of these these are beautiful faceted beads this is what you make a wonderful a couple beautiful necklaces out of this these are 40 as well let me show you the number that i have here the of these these are faceted and we'll make them 35 okay you get a lot of them though you can make yourself a lovely strand on that a nice long strand or a couple they're about almost an inch in size these are nice sized ones in Beautiful smoky quartz faceted beads for 35. Getting over a hundred of them. There's only one smoky quartz, so that's easy. It's the ones that I have more of that are a little harder. Okay, so smoky quartz for 35. All right. These are I have some more. Um, I found more aquamarine in the bag. I think this is all of it now. There here, did I count them? A hundred of them. <laughs> I did. These are beautiful. They're not real large, but look, I, they're beautiful. You get aquamarine's pricey. These are $30. You get a hundred of them. Beautiful faceted beads in varying sizes, but they're all faceted and like that kind of tubular shape. So that is the number 100 of um, similar um, size and De uh, definitely the same types, but they're 30 bucks for those. If anybody wants them, you'll say 30 aquamarine number with a hundred for a hundred aquamarine for $30. All right. Then I have another aquamarine. Um, this one will be, these are different shapes and sizes, but there's more than a hundred here. 
I didn't count them. Um, I didn't do much of anything to them. I didn't even remove if there's like a string where she started doing her artwork there. But there's a lot of them. This is just a portion of them. I mean, like some of them have like these sterling piece in it. You can get that out. Just one or two, actually. But there's more in the bag. Okay. I'll do these ones for, um, I'll do these ones for 20 because they're more odd shaped, but you can make some, there's a lot of them. Okay. And differing in colors of aquamarine in shapes and sizes. But I'll do those ones for 20. You can definitely make something out of them. The other one, um, are just really beautiful. Um, and sized up, the shapes are in everything. They're marvelous. They're, I think by my eye, they look better quality. Let's get that citrine over here, which I'll put that in the bag that it was in. It was in this bag. Okay, put that in. All right, um, and now I have amethyst. I know these are amethyst. These are beautiful. Look at all these. Nice fat bag. Um, these ones are smooth, pear-shaped, okay? Beautiful. This to make a beautiful necklace. Differing shades of amethyst beads. You have over a hundred. I did not count them, but look at that. That's 30, okay? Those will be 30. These are the smooth pear amethyst beads for 30. Remember, they're all drilled. These ones are more rounded, but um, beautiful as well. And these are amethyst rounded beads. And you have about the same number. Wait, did I give the wrong price on that? 30 is okay. Um, these ones will be 30 as well. These are the rounded amethyst beads for 30. I, I had a different price marked down, but 30 is okay for both of them. All right, I'm changing the price so I know. So you got the pear-shaped ones and the rounded ones both for 30. Now I have some very lovely garnet. Look at these. These ones are smooth. There's a lot of them. These ones are rounded. There's a decent amount here. These ones are um, $30. They're beautiful color. Let me show you. I think I did show you, but... Beautiful. They're all drilled. Are you going to make jewelry? Make that motion. Those ones will be 30. There's a, at least 100 or more. These ones are 40 that I'm going to show. These are very beautiful. These are, um, look at them. They're marvelous. They are faceted, beautiful. I have a decent amount. There's a couple hundred. Look. And you can definitely make yourself something beautiful out of this. Like it's delicate, dainty, faceted garnet beads. And like I said, there's a large amount. I like to move everything to a bigger bag so I'm not dropping them. That's there. Okay, so these ones are 40. They're beautiful faceted garnet beads. And you got a decent amount. They're not real big. But you can make a beautiful necklace out of that and possibly earrings for yourself. Wish I knew how to string. Okay, so those are 40. Um, okay, that's the gemstones, okay? Let me put them back. I'm not stopping and starting like I have been doing all my videos. And Sorry about that. It's just that... Um, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with the move. It's been insane. Um, <laughs> I'm happy, though. I'm glad it's coming. Um, it's been a long time coming for me to move out of here. Okay, so those are the gemstones. Now I have the lots. Okay, these are going to be $50 a piece, okay? I'm going to start off with this one. This piece of corn. <laughs> this isn't the most exciting thing, but it's cool. These need minor repairs. Some might need more, okay? But um, this is... I don't know who it is. I can't see. But I've seen the corn before. It's missing one stone. Okay. That's just that simple. These beautiful earrings. These are amazing. I, I tried to... Um, there, it's, it's quite. I might have a piece that you could use for this. I don't know if it's in here. But anyways, it's missing one rhinestone. These are amazing. You could fix that. These are an amazing pair of earrings. Okay. I don't know if it's uranium or not. I don't think it matters early. We don't have to flash later. Fantastic earrings. Paris drop earrings. Missing one stone. This is a Victorian bracelet. 
missing some of the purple rhinestones, beautiful brass with gold. I don't know, I figure maybe the stones are old. They could be used or you could replace them. It's a beautiful bracelet. That's definitely Victorian. Um, This necklace is amazing. It looks like a Monet or something. I don't know who the maker is on it. It's in here. It's an amazing necklace. It's in here because it was a tiny bit of fading. Somebody might be able to fix that. Um, I did not, and I'm not going to, but look how amazing. Those are tassels. This is one of those ones that go buckle around there. So that's included. Um, this is Austria. I have the stone that is missing. It's in this bag. It's signed Austria. It's beautiful. There's one missing. And like I said, right there, it's in the bag. I have it, I think. <laughs> um, that's in Austria. This is, I, love, um, I don't know who this is, but it was thought it was pretty beautiful. Faux pearls. It's a stretch. I don't know why it's in here. It's missing a couple of these faux pearls on the small pieces, I think. And it stretches a little. Not, not that great. It can be fixed, though. Um, this is a crown trafori missing one faux pearl. Easy to fix. This is mid-century crown trafori. This is a Florenza shell brooch or pendant missing a couple. It's missing, looks like somebody tried gluing them in. It's missing pearls up there. Nice little cameo though, shell cameo. She's pretty, I think. That's Florenza. This is beautiful. I think it is. Um, have it's cut off. This is a vintage brooch with Japaning on the back. It's missing one blue stone. It's very nice. I don't know who the maker is, but it's a very nice vintage brooch. This looks mid-century. Open in the back. Well, those are glass. All glass. But one little blue stone. I thought it was really nice. This site looks like a designer. I don't know who. Okay. This next necklace. And what is wrong with this? Um, it definitely looks like a designer though. But like, like I said, it has the hooks. One of the chains are disconnected under there. I don't think that's a real hard fix for somebody that has a soldering gun and can do it without making a mess. I don't have a soldering gun yet. Um, but it hooks onto there. You know, it's a nice, nice stylish or you can just tear that off and wear it without it, honestly. It's a very nice necklace. That's included. This is beautiful. I think this is Lisner. First of all, I couldn't even find what was wrong with it. It took me a couple minutes. Hold on, let me see who it is. Looks like Lisner. Oh, something in here. This is a Crown Trafori. This is mid-century as well. Okay, I couldn't tell. It's beautiful. You know what's wrong with it? And you can't even tell. You can replace this stone rather easy and easy. It's missing one of the rectangles that are in the center of each one. Beautiful uh, colors, though, on this necklace. This is one of the 50s. Mid-century, we'll say, because I don't know the exact date. I'm not an expert on that. But anyways, that's included in a lot for $50. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> sorry. Kind of goofy. This is Swarovski missing one little crystal. Swan signed. There's one crystal missing. Hard to tell where it even is. I think it's right there. Yeah. Or is it pushed in? I don't know. Could just be pushed in, but that's included in the lot. Right, <coughs> Excuse me. I, I have these. Um, I think I need a drink. I didn't drink anything yet. I've woken up. These are also a Crown Trafari mid-century earring. I was really happy when I found these. Um, they have like, they remind me of a pie. Okay, what happened and I have it, it just, it needs soldered on, is that the, uh, the clip fell off the back. Okay, I do have it. But those are amazing hearts, um, look like a, a pie. What do they call it, Latisse or something? Reminded me of pie. Where is the piece? I have it put it in this bag. I do have the clip. I think it's this one right here. Is this it? No, that's the waist. Okay, I do have the clip. I'll include it. Um, I don't know how hard this, or do I not have the clip? Yeah, I do. It's right here, and it's intact. It just needs solder back on. They're beautiful earrings. Those are included. These are a crown for four as well, mid-century. These are really nice. Um, I had a necklace, I think, that matched this a long time ago. Um, it's missing one rhinestone. These are a little um, easy to fix if you put 
<clears throat> I'm sorry, crystals or rhinestones, and those are fun for Fari as well. This is, um, I like this. Wow, the stone's amazing in this. This is antique, okay? It's missing a couple of um, stones going around, but look at that stone. Okay. I think it's sterling, too. I don't know 100%. I'm not going to test it. But it does have the um, antique seat clasp, and that stone in the middle is really neat. That's in that bag. I have these uh, Weiss earrings. Um, I think these are Weiss. Yeah, these need a... These are amazing. I was happy when I found them. Again, a clip broke off. It happens sometimes with our old jewelry. These are mid-century Weiss. Beautiful. You could even use these as replacement stones. Any of the older jewelry, if you can't repair it, um, the replacement stones are, you know, they've used, used this in their jewelry. Okay, so that needs soldered back on if anybody can do that. If not, maybe you can use the stones. Those are Weiss. I have a pair of, <clears throat> I think these are really beautiful, with another pair of Weiss. And we're missing one stone in these. Here, okay. Over here in the corner, a little dinky. It's missing one stone. These are clips. They are Weiss as well. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm choking here. I don't know why this is in here. Just because I thought maybe somebody could use it for something. If not, then it's just going to get thrown away. Who is, I thought that I had a tag on it. Oh my, I don't even know. Oh well, here. I don't know, this had a name on it. I can't see it right now. I'm a little exhausted. <laughs> it's just a strand of like those older, I thought that was a really nice clasp. It could be used for something. On This is strung on chain and I did think there was a name on it. I don't really see it. Oh, Vogue. Vogue, yeah, a vintage Vogue. I think it's like 50s or 60s. All right, it, it's only, it's supposed to have two of those, but it only has one, that's why it's here. Okay, here's the Austria, the stone for the Austrian, beautiful Austrian pin right there that just needs glued back in. I know, that can be done. These are designer um, Alfred Sung faux pearl earrings missing a clip. I don't know why they're in there. They're in there because who knows, maybe you have, you can fix it and do something with it. They are designer. I remember when I looked them up, they are signed SV as well. I don't know what that means, okay. I do remember they were somewhat valuable and I was upset that they were missing a clip. I got these in a, like a Goodwill thing or something. But anyways, they are in there. That is the first one that it's 50. Just say big... Well, you can name it whatever you want. Big, amazing uh, clip earrings. Okay, how about that? Let's call it that. This is kind of like designer. I put a little Victorian in it. It's not all designer. There's some designer. Yeah, we have Swarovski, um, Florenza, Crown Trafari. I think it's pretty amazing. A lot, really. And the one little stone. Yeah, it needs repairs, but 50 bucks for that if anybody wants. So they're all 50 Okay, let's dump this one out. This will be 50 as well. I tried to mix them up and give them something extra exciting in each one. Okay, this is a Chico's necklace. It just needs, this is nice too, actually. It's like a collar. Um, I think it's Chico's. Let me make sure. Yeah, I remember when I got it. It just needs this to reconnect it right here, okay? I think you can, there's the front. You might be able to wear it on either side, but... That's a Chico, so it's a slight repair. I thought this was amazing when I found it. It's a, it's, I feel like the stone. Okay, that's in there for that. But it is a vintage necklace. I don't think it has a marking on it. It's a little faded on here, but I thought the stone was real nice. So that's in here. A spider missing one leg. Don't know how he ended up in there. These are glass rhinestones. Maybe you can use them to make something. Okay. <coughs> this is nice. This is a copper ring missing one pink stone. It could be used for crafting. Um, or you can replace it. What can I put in here? Anything else? Good. Oh, no, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is Swarovski. This piece needs to be hooked back on there. Okay. I think that's a simple repair. It's Swan Sign Swarovski. The crystal needs wherever you've, it was right here. It needs to be reattached, okay. It's a very beautiful crystal. 
I forget what those ones like that are called. That's Swarovski. It just needs a quick repair. I have this as Victorian. I believe so. This piece fell off. It goes over here. I don't even know what this is, but this is a Victorian. I think it's gilt with gold, brass gilt with gold. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I don't really know what it is. It's probably hooked on to something. I don't even know what this is. I'm sure there's somebody on here that would. Damn, I don't probably know what that was. Um, I don't. Maybe. I don't know. Doesn't matter. These are these are Givenchy, very beautiful Givenchy earring, missing one crystal, lover backs, gold plated, signed Givenchy back here, beautiful, just missing one crystal. You can hardly tell. It's. I figured maybe somebody can repair that. Um, this is a loft necklace. This piece fell off of it. Okay. Those are uh, rhinestones. This is brass or a brass finish. That, all of them are here except for the one. That's been a painful amount of time on it. I thought these little things are really, really beautiful. Look, um, there's two of them. They are missing one or two Marcus or little rhinestones going around them. They remind me of Kirk's Folly. I don't think they're signed. They may not even be missing anything, actually. But there's oh, some of them in here. I don't see. Now, the backing says Stella and Dot, but I don't know if it's an original backing, okay? And is it just one backing if it's both? Yeah, it's just one. Somebody's stuck it on there. I don't think there's, they don't look like a Stella and Dot thing to me. Yeah, I'm not really sure how old they are, but I don't really think they're missing anything, but they're in here. Pretty little, oh, they are missing one. When I go close up, I can see it. It's like right there, okay. So it might be one on each one or just one on one. They're really cute little angels. They're brass, okay. This is a designer, the faux pearls. Pretty nice uh, designer. It's, it stretches. Kisaka, K-I-S-S-A-K-A. -A. It's missing some of the rhinestones in here. See, it should be like that. Like this one's missing rhinestones. It, again, Kate, there's this tag. It's a nice, um, I looked them up. Their stuff goes for a good price. I thought this was beautiful. Um, the, that's broken. Okay. It's, that feels sad. I don't know if it's silk or whatever that is, but beautiful stones. They are glass. No, they're not. Oh, no, it's nice. It's not even glass. I don't know why I thought it was. Okay, if it's Hood Allen here, he's pretty cute. He's missing one of his glass eyes. He's articulated. He's pretty cool. This is on a vintage chain. Spring ring chain. A little articulated owl missing one eyeball can be fixed. This is beautiful. Um, brooch missing, maybe missing a rhinestone, maybe not. It's just in there, though. It looks like it's missing a couple. I don't know, some of it's just craft, some's an easy repair. They're mixed. Okay, beautiful rhinestones. It's missing a few rhinestones. Out. These earrings, I thought they were rather lovely. And why are they in here? Let's see. Kiss missing one stone. These are clips. They're very pretty. Look at those little flowers. They're missing one rhinestone over here. There's a gold tone clips. This necklace, where is it? Oh, it's not in this one. Okay, this is a vintage fold-over bracelet. It's missing one rhinestone. It's very beautiful, though. I, it's right there. I think it's missing. See? Look, it's fold-over class. missing two. It's very pretty, though. It's vintage and, like I said, a fold-over clasp. 40s or something. After 40s, that looks like AB. I don't know. Mid-century. We'll say that. Okay. See, sometimes I look at the class and I'm like, oh, it looks like, you know, it doesn't mean it is. Um, <laughs> I know it's not because it's AB. Okay. AB wasn't around then. This is a nice clamper. It gets missing like one rhinestone. Gun metal finish on it. Yeah. Those are. Yeah, just that. These beads are vintage. Very nice. I don't know exactly what this is. So because it's small, it's a prayer thing. I don't know if it's still gets a little messed up. It's here for the beads. Beautiful um, hand-painted porcelain beads on this. It's just like I said, some's craft, some's uh, like really nothing wrong, and some has a couple things missing. Beautiful red, fold over class red rhinestones. There are some of these missing in here. I don't think it's a whole lot though, but I thought that was really pretty. It's a fold over clasp. Does not have a maker's mark on it. There's one missing there. 
I thought it was pretty. This is another vintage one. It's missing some rhinestones. It's missing one there. Fold over clasp. It's missing one there. Okay. It's missing a few. And one on the end. Is that it? One, two. It might just be two. Okay. It's pretty. Um, this necklace is, I don't know who. Okay. Or do I? Yes, I do. J. Crew, I think. Yeah. Um, this is in here because. I stuck it there. <laughs> um, there's one of those missing. I think I have it though. I think I just saw it and it needed put back in. I'll grab it and put it in the bag. That's a J. Crew. I think I have that piece. I'll have to look. I wonder if I threw it out. No, I think I put it in a bag. Okay, I'll look for it. I think I do have that. Um, this is missing. Um, oh, look how adorable he is. A vintage. He's missing. Vintage little elephant, he's missing a blue square there. He's a blue rhinestone eye, and then two of them actually just happened in there. Beautiful little bracelet. Um, did that just fall out of that? I don't know. I don't know. This is missing some things, but I thought that it was pretty. I it just happened to get in there. All right, I have these clip earrings. These look intact, except for the clips are a little loose. I fear, and they're easy fix if you know how. I just put them in here. They're beautiful. Look at that. Looks like cadmium. I don't know if it is, but they need that tightened. I'm not going to mess around with it. I feel like put it in here. A little stretch bracelet, rhinestones, missing a couple. Again, good for craft. Um, I have this thing, this brooch here. This is glass. I miss, it's one of the stones are like right there. I just put it in and it's missing one. This is vintage. Um, they're pretty, I think. Uh, what else? These earrings come, these are glass. And they're missing a thing. Um, they, they're craft. Like I say, these are craft lots. Easy repairs, some are. Okay, this thing is, I don't mind that. This is a be beautiful rhinestone stretch bracelet. It's a little loose, that's why it's in there and it's missing some rhinestones. Oh yeah, I put a Halloween guy in here. Is this uh this is Avon? He's just adorable. He is missing his pin off the back. He's cute though. I thought he was cute. Um, this is a missing the part that this would attach to. I thought that was pretty. Rhinestone necklace. This is vintage. I don't know why this is in there. Just because it is, it's intact, actually. See, it's a fold-over clasp, and I don't think there's anything missing, but it's in here. It's clear rhinestones. Clear rhinestone stretch bracelet is missing one stone right there. Just a little, I don't know if it's vintage or modern, actually, on that. This is a little pin that I put in there. I think it's missing, like, one rhinestone. It's a vintage pin. Little toggle bracelet with a pretty little missing a couple of little rhinestones. I don't know anything about it. I didn't investigate. It looks like a fairly well-made bracelet, but I don't know if there's a name on it. I didn't look. I didn't see anything. A quick glance. It had been sitting in a box for a while. Okay. Um, That's, well, this is Nicole something. It's missing like a stone. That's in there. Okay, that's that one. Okay, so that's the second one. I'm going to put it away. Sorry, I should stop and start. Don't mind the, the noise. Anna's a little. You can call this one if the Victorian pin in it or, or something that will make it recognizable to me. How about the Big Chicos? Call this one the Big Chicos. The other one's the Amazing Earrings. This is the Big Chicos. This one's 50 as well. If anybody's interested. I think there's some pretty... Um, couple really good things in there. Um, there's the piece to the Victorian. It's gold filled or gilt I'm not really sure. Um, okay. This one is going to be, uh, this one's also 50. I have, um, this is cool. This is enamel copper. When I bought it, it broke. It's, look, I bought this for somebody I used to be chummy with. I thought it was cool. Anyways, it's like a Looks like a musician, musician woman or something. Maybe an artist. But anyways, it broke. It's beaded. That is cap, copper enamel. 
that was broken when I opened it up. It busted. That's a clue. This is a $50 lot as well. Beautiful opalite and blue rhinestones. Missing one rhinestone. This is a vintage necklace. I think it's beautiful. We're missing one blue rhinestone there. Look, it has the opalite glass. There's that. I don't think there's a name on it. I didn't notice. This is Miller Fury glass with uh, little glass fishies hanging off of it. I have an issue here. This would need a restring. One of the pieces are cracked there or broken. I think it's, I don't know if it's sterling or not. And one of the fish fell off. <clears throat> but that's a Miller Fury bracelet. This one, call it the Copper Enamel Girl. Okay. <clears throat> that's what that one necklace is. But this, I think, is a Nolan Miller. It needs reattached on the end. It's an amazing Nolan Miller, actually. Um, look, it kind of has the egg, like an egg. Reminds me of Joan Rivers. Strung um, on silk and knotted. These are faux pearls, obviously, but this needs re reattached. That's Nolan Miller. This is really beautiful. I don't even know... Um, it needs reattached right there, number one. Okay, that's easy. This is signed Japan. So this is a beautiful Japan glass um, brick necklace. With, it needs restrung. It has this peat one. It's broken. Okay, those are balls. They look like Venetian glass to me. Okay. And beautiful, all glass. This is a beautiful Japan necklace. <clears throat> that's a vintage ring of uranium. It's missing a couple little stones, like here. Or is it missing anything? Maybe it's not. Yeah, it is. It's missing the tiny ones on the end. <coughs> it's sizable. This is a vintage necklace that needs to just put back together. That's pretty. Look, it's glass. Art glass it looks like splatter glass or something. It just needs reattached. It's a strand. I don't feel like doing it. I figured I'd offer it. These are really pretty. These are beautiful, and this just needs stuck in here. Okay, and, and pronged around. I guess maybe am I might be being lazy. These are clip earrings, and let me see if there's a name on them. Uh -uh, no, but they're vintage. And the one piece of glass just needs um to be pronged in there. Beautiful, I think. These earrings are missing. One stone, they're vintage. I, I don't know who the maker is, but one of those are missing. That might be hard to replace. I'm not sure. Maybe not. These are Avon, I think, or Crown Trafari. Let's see. They're Avon. I put them in here. They're missing one um, one faux pearl. You could use them maybe for replacement. These are a beautiful Monet missing a crystal on the end. Little clip earrings are missing one of those. So it's going to be used for a replacement. That's what that type of thing is good for. Um, this is vintage Austria. Beautiful. It's missing a big, rather large stone, but these are nice. These would be like good replacement. This is a vintage Austria. And it's missing one stone right there. But those colors, citrine dark and light. Let me see a lot of jewelry with that. This is really lovely, I think. It needs a new class. Look at how pretty. It's, this is just, somebody tied it there. You could wear it as a strand. Actually, somebody could actually wear it like that. I thought it was pretty. Now, this one's really nice. I found this a long time ago. It says a designer, a very, uh, like, high-end designer tag on it. It broke on me. It is signed Les, I think. Let me look. I have to look. It's been a while. I'll spell it for you. Give me a minute. I'm sorry. Let me roll it. It is signed Lee Minichetti. That's L E E M E N I C H E T T I. And I I don't know like the tag is on there. Come here. This is acrylic. And I don't know if this is uranium, it looks like it is, but there's the hang tag. It has a vintage spring ring. And it's it's strung on the old uh old thread. It busted. Glass and this these are glass. This is acrylic, okay. It has these nice spy cones. I don't know if they are uh, uranium or not. They look like they could be, but I'm not sure. But the gold tone metals, um, vintage gold tone metal pieces, again, with that name on it. This bag is 50 as well. You could call this the copper enamel one, or if you want to call it the Lee Minichetti, since that's probably the most expensive piece that's in there, you can call it that. 
<clears throat> um, it needs rebuilt. Okay, so that's 50 as well. The last one is the sterling and stone. Okay. Um, these balls here, there's a couple random like pearl earrings hanging in here. These are stones. It was a necklace that broke. Carnelian, different different types of stones, okay. This looks Tibetan to me. Not an expert on it or anything. So if you're somebody watching and you're like, no, it's not. Excuse me for my ignorance. <laughs> it doesn't have a name on it. It's inlay coral and I think it's, I don't know what kind of stone that is. Okay, it looks like coral. It's missing one little ball. It's all thrown off the little fella. I think it's an amazing little necklace. It's a little bag. Keep your medicine in there. It's missing one little ball. Okay. This is beautiful. I have, this is really nice. Okay, those are marcasites and sterling. I have the piece that just needs right attached. Okay. These are signed um, Tasco. Not really sure if the quality of these earrings or anything. Can't back that up. But they broke, which irritated me because I bought them to sell. They're um, Onyx. Nice look. Sterling and Onyx. Signed tax code Mexico 925 with a TRE4 on it. Just needs a simple fix. Okay. Somebody that knows what they're doing could get that together in just a minute. <coughs> this is brass and jade. The heart needs attached. That's all. Again, this looks Tibetan to me. I don't know. These are stone. This is pretty amazing. Actually, I think it's Cornelian. Look, same type of thing as that little purse there. Um, it's a little loose. It needs tightened up. But it has to be. There's that. These are world pearls. Um, it's oh, it's a little tangled up. These are freshwater pearls. Okay. It's a necklace. You can untangle it. You can take it apart and use the pearls. Glass pearls. Magnetic clasp, which is pretty nice. Rose quartz necklace hair that needs fixed. It broke. That's in there. Um, this is halite. I just stuck it in there. Dyed halite. These are amber. And somebody had done a really crappy job at repairing them with foam. Needs pulled apart and redone. There, It's nice amber there. It's good quality amber. They need repaired. This one has the energy and ability. This is gold filled, and these are actually gemstones. This is tangled a little bit. It's missing one of the scarabs, okay? Those are little gemstones in there. <clears throat> per my recollection, and it's gold filled, I think. I have trouble reading it. I don't know, but it's attached to this ne there's necklaces. That, it's, I mean, this is untangable. It's not, that's That's jade. Okay, and then there's this thing tangled up to it. I mean, it's an easy thing to get off. I'm not going to do it right now. I don't want to. <laughs> this is not stone, but look how adorable. Well, it is, kind of. We have Mother of Pearl. Sodalite. Adorable. Sodalite. This is a nice bag. It's just Native American, it looks to me. I don't know. It could be something made that was made commercially and sold. Well, same thing. Maybe. Who knows? Sodalite. Cat's Eye and Mother of Pearl, and I don't know, Onyx or Glass, I'm not sure on the black, but look how cute little bear. It needs to be fixed right on this side. So it, it closes. It's adorable. These are beautiful. We have Amethyst. Look at these strands. All they need is like something a sterling silver and faceted amber. I mean, oh my God, faceted Amethyst beads. Okay, it's beautiful. It's sterling. This is the same thing. It's a, Oh, this one's intact. It's in there. It's sterling findings. Beautiful little strand. This lot is going to be, I don't know, 50 as well, I guess. <laughs> and I don't know what these are uh, for certain. Okay, quartzy. Of some, this one's long. They're quartz. They're stone. None of this is glass. Okay, it came from my lot that was gifted to me. These are pearls. Uh, fresh uh water culture pearls there this is not pearls around it but these actually are and this is a halite and hematite and i don't know if this is stone or not but i put oh, another pin i think it's sterling not really sure but those are marcasites call this one wannabe tibetan okay <laughs> the stone 
Oh, uh, no, I'm joking. Stone and sterling lot for $50. Okay, so contact me if you want anything. Vintage Jewelry Galore at Yahoo.com. I will get the invoicing done this evening, okay, or tomorrow, possibly. Um, I'll tell you, it's been insane. All right, uh, thank you so much. Let me know if you want anything. I will mark down in the comment section, and uh, I will pin it what's sold as it sells so people know. So you guys know. Thank you. Have a good day.